Welcome to the channel, I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to withdraw your coins off of the Crypto.com exchange into another wallet address, such as another exchange. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. I have plenty more Crypto.com tutorials on my YouTube channel, including a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial. And I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Let's get into the video. Before you can withdraw your coins from the Crypto.com exchange to another wallet address, such as another exchange, you will have to enable your two-factor authentication. If you haven't already done that, I made a video on how to get that done, so I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. To withdraw your coins, simply come up here at the top right hand side of the screen and click on Dashboard. If you're not already on this page. Next we'll click on Wallets. And then we'll click on spot. And here's where you'll find all your cryptocurrency spot wallets. Over here on the right hand side, you'll notice that each of these cryptos has its own withdraw button. Simply click on the withdraw button for the crypto that you intend to withdraw. For this demonstration, I'll click on tether here. In this pop-up window here, select external wallet address. And here's your withdrawal form. The first thing you'll need to do is add a withdrawal address. If you haven't already done so, just simply click right here where it says add withdrawal address. And here's the form where you can add a new withdrawal address. In my case here, this is already set to USDT. Over here under network, you'll need to make sure that this network matches on both sides of this transaction. You'll notice when I click right here where it says ERC20, it becomes a drop down menu displaying other networks that you can send Tether over. You wouldn't want to be sending from the ERC20 network into the Solana network, and you wouldn't want to be sending from Polygon into the Ethereum network. You will lose your coins forever. So make sure you know which network your withdrawal address is on. In my case, it's on the ERC20 network. And for the purposes of demonstration, I'll go ahead and use my Coinbase deposit address. I'll just quickly drag it into frame. And you can see down here that I'm being prompted only send USDT ERC20 to this address. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my Coinbase deposit address and then I'll drag it out of frame. Now I'm going to paste my Coinbase deposit address into this box here. Then down here, select the wallet type that you're sending to. You can do that by clicking right here where it says others. You can select the wallet from this drop down menu or you can search for it in the search bar here. In my case here, you can see Coinbase is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. Then we can give our wallet a label. So of course I'll just go ahead and call this one Coinbase. Then you'll need to enter in your SMS OTP code, as well as enter in your six digit two factor authentication code. Click right here to get your SMS and you'll have one minute to put this in. Next to your two factor authentication code. And now you've added your withdrawal address. Now come up here to where it says wallet address and click on this empty box and then select the wallet address that you just recently added. You might get a little prompt down below saying withdrawals for an address are disabled for 24 hours after it is added. Next, choose an amount of the coin that you wish to withdraw, and you'll be able to see your total balance down below. So you can click on this box right here and type in a custom amount, or you could just simply click on withdraw all to withdraw all of it. Then make sure the wallet type is correct. By default, it already put Coinbase in there for me, and that is correct. And then when you're ready to make your withdraw, you'd come down here and click on review withdrawal. On the next page, you'll be able to confirm the details of your withdrawal. So make sure everything checks out, do your two-factor authentication codes, and then confirm the withdrawal. In my case here, I cannot demonstrate that because I can't make any withdrawals to this address for the next 24 hours. But that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you withdraw your coins off of the Crypto.com exchange. If you found that helpful, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe. Feel free to check out some of my other Crypto.com tutorials, which I've left for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.